With Enter the Florpus out on Netflix, and the wonderful visual work of Jonan Vasquez and Jenny Goldberg proudly out on display in animated form, I wanted to take the opportunity to go back and look at what could have been for this duo with the Disney XD show Very Important House. Even before this pair was putting their work out through the Invader Zim comics that launched in the summer of 2015, Jonan and Jenny were already hard at work at developing a pilot for Very Important House nearly a year earlier. As reported by The Hollywood Reporter, Disney XD was considering three different concepts to become fully-fledged series, including the latest creation of Invader Zim creator Jonan Vasquez and Rick and Morty character designer Jenny Goldberg. The show would feature Frawley, an 11-year-old thrust into the role of being the caretaker of the universe, accompanied by a talking cat named Gramps. No information followed this reporting until November of 2014, when Vasquez wrote to his fans on his blog to not expect an animated pilot for Very Important House. Apparently, at the time, Disney had changed their development process and just wanted animatics instead. Jonan wrote not to be worried about this, however, saying that his experience working with Disney had been eerily smooth and that everyone is hugely supportive of this little thing we're doing. Fans of the legendary creator of Zim would finally see their first look of the series in March of 2015, with Jonan posting a picture from a color correcting session of, wait, didn't he say they weren't creating an animated pilot? It's not entirely clear why the development process switched around on the show, unless the very important crew was already working on parts of the show that weren't the pilot, but this photo that was posted on a fan Facebook page shows that, indeed, work was happening on a pilot by March of 2015. So perhaps Disney had built confidence in the show and wanted to see it in colorful action. At this point, things seemed promising. 2015 continued to be a silent year after that, with Jonan joking a couple times on Twitter about the progress of the pilot, saying that he and Jenny should be done by about 2090, and then later saying opening a burger joint might have been a better business venture based on the number of other cool shows he'd seen come out in the meantime. Finally, in 2016, we got to see an incredibly small preview of Very Important House through a highlight reel released on animation studio Titmouse's Vimeo account. The design of Frawley and Gramps was revealed, and the art style was familiar to those who'd been following Jenny's work on the comics. Everything was a lot brighter and more joyous than Zim, although bees remained a clear comedic staple. <laughs> Unfortunately, this story doesn't have a happy ending. In a now deleted post from his blog, Jonan announced that after four years in development hell, the show didn't get picked up from Disney. Jonan lamented in his post that Disney owned the rights to Very Important House now, and that he and Jenny would be unable to explore all their ideas for Frawley and Gramps because of this. Jonan explained that the show didn't gel with the current direction of Disney XD, which is surprising to me given that a similar show, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, was doing well for the network around this time and had an ambitious premise with quirky characters and a lot of color, action, and even adult humor. In Jonan's view, the network was seeking safer and more derivative work at the time, as he said, It's never a good feeling agonizing to make something different and see how seemingly easy it is for things that are easy sells with no identity beyond It's like that other show to slide through the process. Shortly after announcing the show's rejection, Jonan posted a batch of clips from the Very Important House pilot on his Vine account, and these clips reveal the direction the series might have gone. Game Grumps Aaron Hansen was shown voicing an interdimensional being who was likely the bequeather of the role of caretaker of the universe to Frawley. I'm from a dimension where time and space have no meaning. We also got to hear the voice of Catbug say some adorable lines as puppies in mortal danger. Jonah had, had written a script for Bravest Warriors before this and apparently loved the voice as much as everyone else. Puppy people of Puppy World are being wiped out by a terrible evil! Oh, suffering is like killing other in the universe! Despite the show being cast into the Disney vault with Walt Disney's cryogenically frozen brain, a few more tidbits about the show did follow in 2018. The musical producer of the show was revealed by Jonan tweeting about the newly released album of Jimmy Urine, whose album contained, according to Jonan, the ghostly remains of Very Important House. Luckily for us, later that summer, Jonan posted a full animatic containing a song written by Jimmy Urine, which is a bop if I say so myself. <laughs> the 
animatic also showed us the hilarious fusion of disturbing violence and cuteness that fans had come to know Jonan for. I particularly like how this woman becomes a skeleton and Frawley has no choice but to move on. Our best and final look at the show came this year during the summer when Jonan was also doing a lot of promotion for the upcoming Invader Zim Netflix film. Apparently he felt bold enough to post an entire animated sequence, again featuring Jimmy Urant's work, along with some very nice visuals. Jonan humorously claimed that Very Important House would have been the greatest cartoon of all time if it hadn't been destroyed by Thanos' snap. Beep beep boop! So what actually killed Very Important House? In my opinion, Disney just didn't want to pick up the show, based on the themes and plot of what Very Important House was going to be. Sometimes shows just don't work for the executives that get to see it, which is a shame. After Invader Zim's resurrection on Netflix, there seems to be some hope yet for Very Important House. Disney Plus, though, is likely to be a big competitor to Netflix, so maybe Disney would want to bolster their own service with a new cartoon? If you want to hear some more brief reflections from Jonan about the horror of his wasted time spent trying to make Very Important House, check out this video from Pixelati 2017 in Mexico, captured by Claudio Capranos. Anyway, thanks for coming along with me on this short history of a never-released cartoon. Let me know in the comments if you wish this show would have seen the light of day. Until next time, nerds. <laughs>